Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial, I'll be teaching us how to design a fascinator. All right. So my name is the Remains God Energy Love Power, the creative director of Satan Craft. Thank you all to all my subscribers. Thank you all. I appreciate you all. If this is your first time coming across our channel, please do, please do well to subscribe, like, and always share the video for others to see and benefit. And turn on your notification bell to be notified each time we upload a new video. Okay. So without wasting time, we'll dive into the tutorial. So here with me are the materials we'll be needing. I have this screen link. So I'm making use of it. I have this already the first cup, the shop cup for cyber. I have my bunch, my glue gum, I have this small rose and needle and thread, my scissors, and of course this feather. Alright? I'm working with this feather. So first thing I will do, I've already threaded my needle. The, the measurement of this pinoli that I'm using, the length is about 38 inches. So I needed one there, but I won't be wasting it. Okay, so I'm using all. So I'll apply my glue at the edge this way. The both edges. So the reason why I'm doing this, okay, this pinot really freezes, okay. So with this, once you apply your glue, it will help it not to freeze. Alright? So I would like to dry up a little. So I would like to dry up a little. So at this point. So sorry I skipped something. I did it off camera. Remember the pinoli, one part of it, one end has thread. So I've already gone ahead to remove the thread. Okay? Because I won't be needing it. So what I'll do now, I'll fold it in this way. Okay? So with my measurement tape, so I'll see what I have. So I want to fold it in like two inch. Okay. So I'm going to be securing it this way. So I'll gather up the end. I'll gather it up like so. So using my needle and my thread. So I'll gather it up. I'll tie it just for me to secure it properly. Okay. So I'll still do the same thing to the other end. So I'm going to cut off the excess thread. So I'll come back to this point. Make it like so. So I'll still fold it in the same measurements, okay? So, so still for you to be sure, use your tape. Use the measurement tape, okay? Still the same thing. Still using my needle and thread. So I'm going to tie it up at this point. Tight family to secure it like so. Yeah. Make sure you tie it very well. So I'll pull it, cut off the excess thread, and I'm going to be trimming all the edges because we didn't we won't be needing that. So get your needle and your thread. You knot it at the end. So after which, I'll be gathering it up like so, starting from here, starting from here, so I'll be gathering it up, please watch what I'm doing, okay, I'll be gathering it up like so, so I'll continue to do this till I get to the end, okay, so you can see, you can decide to use more than one, yeah, okay, one of the 36 inches, depending how full you want your design to come out. Okay, so you can decide to use more than 36 inches. So I'll keep doing this, I'll keep on doing it till I get to the end. Okay, so I'm getting to this end. I pass my needle and thread, so I'll pull it. Can you see what we got? Can you see? So, right now, so I'll be bringing the two ends together like so. Okay, I'll pass my needle. Let me come closer. Okay, I brought the other end, the other end, pass your needle. Okay, in order for us to join the two ends together. Can you see what we have here? Can you see it? So, at this point, So I'll get this end. So I'll do it like this. Look at what I'm doing. Let me take it again. Look as if you're pressing it down like this. Okay. Then you hold it up together. Okay. So I'll be passing my needle and my thread from this point now. Down. Okay. 
make sure you can use your hands to adjust it the way you want. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? So I'm just trying to make sure that I hold it, I tap everything down the way I really want it to come out. Okay, let me show you the this is the one I did earlier. Okay, this is the design we're making. So this is the shape we are trying to form here. Can you see how it is? Okay, just go ahead, fill out with just play with it and see what you'll get, alright? So I'll just keep holding it till I get that shape that I'm looking for. Till it gives me that shape that I'm looking for, alright? So I'll get my base. So I'll be attaching it here like this. Can you see what I'm doing? Because I didn't want the clay to be too bulky on it. So once I'm, I'm adjusting it, so I'll be tapping it down at the same time. Okay? So that's what I'm doing now. So I'm going to pass my needle. The first thing you do, locate where you want to fix, you want your design to be, you place it there. Okay. I also get my band, because I like using a uh, needle and thread to tap down my band, okay, to tap it down. So I like using needle and thread. So, I'm just trying to see how I can place it. So, you cross it over like this. Once it comes out here, so try as much as possible. Okay, just do the thread. That's how it is. So carefully, I will carefully make sure that I hold it down. Okay, I also check my band. To see if I've gotten the pitting that I need, the placement. Okay. Then I'll go ahead now to make sure I tap it down firmly. So, there is no special method for you to use and tag down your design, okay? There's no special method at all. So, all you need to do is just to take time, patiently tag down your design, okay? For you to be fair, as you can see how it is, okay? So, at this point, I'll be cutting off the excess thread, all right? I'll be cutting off the excess thread. Okay. I'll cut it out. Huh? I see it. So. I'll set it aside. Let's work on our feather. Okay. So I'm going to plug out some of these feathers. So I'll be trimming it off like this. Very close to the edge. Okay. So I'll make sure that I trim it. So I will turn it over to the other end. I'll do the same thing. So getting to this point, I'll just make a slant curve, okay? I'm going to, can you see? So 
Oh, she did that. Use your hand to do it this way so that you strip if there are any other one that is long and this. Okay, so this is what I got. So, this is what I have. So, I'll be making use of three pieces of it. So, I'll go ahead to do that. Okay, so I'll get extra two of it. So, I'll still be trimming up. Trimming it like that, like so. That's last four. Okay. Still do the same thing. As you can see, as I'm doing it, you see some of the long, long feathers. We trim it off like so. Now, this tutorial is beginners friendly. Please, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Okay. Hit on the subscribe button. Click. Turn on your notification bell, like and share this video, comment, okay? Let me know what you feel about this tutorial, all right? Also, follow us, follow us on our Facebook page, Asatech Craft, okay? Thank you very much. Follow us on our TikTok handle, Asatech Craft. My work table is messed up. Let me talk later. So, I'm using my glue gun, my gun now to attach these feathers. Okay. So I'm using my glue gun or UHU gun. Watch what I'm doing. So I'll be applying it like this. So I'll be sticking it in like so. Get the second one, apply my thumb. Stick it in like this. Wow. And this, mm, let me find somewhere to attach it, okay? So, with my rose now, so I'm going to be covering it up, okay, to cover up those placing that the thread is showing. So I apply my gum. So I'll just make sure I apply a generous amount. Leave it to dry up a little while. So. So that is it. Sorry, my hands went off the camera. You'll be like, ah, why did I use this? If you look at the feather, the shade and the good shade of the color shade of the or the shade, I don't know what to say. So the color of this uh, feather and the rose are almost similar. So that's why I used it. Okay. Just be creative. It's your work. Voila. And this is the final look. Yes. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, balance well. Let me put this up. So to see how it looks. Wow, very beautiful. Oh, thank you very much for watching. See you all in the next tutorial. Also, don't forget to cover up here, okay? So I didn't come out with, I didn't bring out. Uh, I'm using a scuba fabric, black scuba fabric to cover up here using my gum. All right. So I'll just apply my gum, then I'll press it. Thank you very much.
bye bye see you all in our next tutorial